Hello stampers, my name is Helen Borer. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Seward, Nebraska. I found a video this morning that is just brilliant. The person who posted it is Anna Hellman. She has a site called Stampin' Scrappin' and such, perhaps Stampin' and Scrappin'. But her name is Anna Hellman. She had this fantastic idea for the Many Messages stamp. And, okay, so Many Messages, one thing about it is it was limited to the sentiments that came in the set. And they're all on one big stamp. But the die doesn't have to be limited to the sentiments that came in that set. You can pick out dies and words from a variety of your stamp sets and use the die to cut them out. The first thing you'll need is uh, the negative remains of a card where you cut them out and you can uh, then put this on on your stamp set or on your stamparatus and I have it mostly set up here for you but um, let's here I have a stamp that says thank you so much and we're going to put it right in there and then I have one here that says hello friend and we'll put it right in there Okay, so then you close your plate and you pick up the stamps. And as you can see, I've got the, most of the spaces filled. So the next thing you do after that is put in a blank piece of paper and test out the placement because, you know, if any are crooked or really don't work in the die or with the, the shape, you can take them out and straighten them. So then I'm going to ink up those stamps. You can use a variety of colors. We don't have to stick with black. And I'm gonna stamp that down. I'm gonna put a little pressure on each of the stamps as I go, hoping to get a good That's a good enough image to see how well they're lining up. Then we're going to take our template again, lay it over the top. Well, and I see that one didn't stamp out. Okay, so thank you here is way too low. So let's take thank you off of here. Put it back higher up. This part's a little tricky because they stick to your fingers, but the take your pick tool or something is quite helpful. So we'll see if that's better. Well, and we can see a faint imprint. I don't know. I think that might still be crooked, but let's put a little more ink on that. And see if we can tell. Well, it's better than it was before. So we can take a piece of cardstock and stick it in there and create our stamps. Okay, so I'm going to put this piece of cardstock up in the corner, put a magnet on it, all of our stamps are going to fit, so let's re-ink them. Because we want a really good and we'll stamp it down. Pick that 
that up. And most things look good except for this little stamp that seems to be an issue. <laughs> put a little bit more ink on it in fact we'll re-ink the whole thing and just make it a bolder image you'll notice I've put my card up in the corner that way it's easy to keep it in place well, let's see what we've got there ah much nicer and that's even almost good it's good enough so there we have our nice image and we'll cut that out One thing we don't have here is our hearts and stars to help line it up. So basically we will have to basically check all of our different stamps. And if I could find a something to stick it down with, that would be wonderful. going to position this that it is a little slanted in here because it cuts better and it goes through easier. It still has to all fit within your your machine, but it manages to get over the bumps easier. There's a lot of cutting going on. And so we've got all of our pieces out and they can be saved to use with whatever, like we have wedding wishes, hello friend, happy birthday, what a beautiful blessing you are to me, thank you, thank you so much. Best wishes, that one was plain. Wishing you the very best, just some decoration, more decoration. Here's the do-do-do-do-do-do from uh, Sharks. I'm so happy I found you. We've got love. We've got love you to the beach and back. And hello. The stamp sets that I've taken these from are Varied Vases. Needle and Thread had those two designs. Uh, I think I must have taken thank no Wedding Wishes out of here. And there I did the do 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 do. And I think I did all of these sentiments from a touch of ink. So that can give your many messages uh, bundle quite a bit more life and if you order the many message bundle you're on the way to getting a freebie during celebration so now's the time to do so hope you enjoyed that thank you very much